Hi guys, hope you're well and thanks for joining me in my kitchen. Today we will be making a delicious and spicy kidney beans curry. And you can serve it with rice, chapatis, naan and the recipes for those are in the link somewhere up here. I upload new recipes every week just like this. So if you like food, make sure you hit subscribe and click notify to stay up to date. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the easy way to make this is you can get a couple of tins of kidney beans and then add two to three cups of water at the end. Now, the way I like to cook this is the way I'm going to show you. The reason I prefer doing it this way is you get the natural kidney bean stock and I think that gives it a better and fuller flavour. The ingredients that you will need are 250 grams of kidney beans with four cups of water and I've cooked that in a pressure cooker for about six to eight whistles, three chopped onions, two fresh tomatoes, and one tin of chopped tomatoes. I've blitzed that in a machine and I'm not gonna use all of it. Two tablespoons of cooking oil, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of mustard seeds, some curry leaves, one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, one cinnamon stick and a few cloves, quarter teaspoon of garam masala, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder and one teaspoon of chili powder and some salt to taste and some chilies and coriander leaves. Okay, so in our preheated pan, we're gonna dry fry these ingredients. So the cumin, the mustard seeds, the curry leaves, the cinnamon sticks and the cloves and we're going to heat this up for about a minute and shortly what will happen is you'll hear the mustard seeds pop and you know it's just so amazing that just with a few spices your whole kitchen would have this lovely smell and this lovely aroma about it. You should be able to hear that now the mustard seeds have started to pop so now in goes the oil and also, I am going to add in the onions. And I'm just going to give that a little stir. And then we're just going to cover this. And I am going to let that cook for about four or five minutes until it's nice and golden brown. But make sure you check on the onions as well because you don't want them to burn. I'm going to put the flame on low to medium. The onions are done, so I'm just going to add in the tomato, the chopped tomatoes now. I'm just going to leave a little bit. And also the fresh tomatoes, and I've blanched them and taken the skin off, so we're going to add them in. And also the ginger and garlic paste, and all the spices. And we're just going to give it a stir. And I'm also going to add in the chilies as well. So I've chopped the small chilies up and I've sliced the, the larger ones. And I'm just going to cover this now for about two minutes. Okay, so the tomatoes are ready now. And what we're going to do now is add in the kidney beans and the kidney bean stock. Okay, so what I've done is I've added that in. I have left some of the stock behind. So it's about a quarter of it I've left because I didn't want it so watery. And uh, I'm just going to give this a stir and cover for about five minutes. And you'll have a lovely, nice, spicy kidney bean curry. There you go, all done. Do try it out and let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.